vlog everyone i'm deidre behar thanks for hanging out with me as usual and the big story on everyone's brains this week is no not focused on miley and liam i am choosing instead to focus on my girl britney spears who debuted a new song this week so it's very exciting for a lot of different reasons a lot of people are kind of 50 50 about how they feel about the song i think i'm one of those people so i thought to be fair i'd kind of do like a pros and cons list and i will just tell you guys kind of up front the pros list far outweighs the cons list. Okay, point number one. I like that the song is fun. Britney music throughout the years, whether or not it was this or that or something or the other, it was always fun. And that's why we liked it. It brightened our smiles and put us in a good mood. It made us dance. And I think Work Bitch does exactly that. Point number two. I like that it's original. It's not a cookie cutter song. It's not like a sappy love song that's kind of been done before. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of songs maybe like this in the dance or electronic world that I am not aware of. But for now, I think the lyrics are fun and original. She talks about Bugatti, she talks about Martini, she talks about having a hot body, she talks about being the governor, she talks about being the police. I mean, she's just fun and she's kind of funny and I like that she brings that creativity to her music. Uh, something else that I really like about the song is that a lot of people are criticizing it, calling it like very shallow, that she's talking about all these like shallow things like fancy cars and this and that and having a hot bod. You know what? Those are luxuries. Those are things that I would find anybody walking down the street hard pressed to say no. If you went up to someone and was like, oh, do you want to have a yacht? Oh, do you want to have a six pack? Oh, uh, do you want to drive a 90 jillion thousand dollar car? You know what? I think at one point in your life, at least once, you would say yes. So I like that Britney's message to her fans is to work hard, you guys. If you work hard, if you set goals, if you have dreams, if you think big and you work hard, you too can have it just like Britney. You can live lavishly like Miss Britney Spears. Um, the only con that I have really is that, I don't know, I, I kind of like the infectiousness of her music past. Songs like Baby One More Time and Crazy and Me Against the Music and Slave, um, oh gosh, I'm probably forgetting so many just off the top of my head, Toxic, um, even Three and Give Me More, like more recent stuff, they all have really um, signature pop foundations. And on this song, it's kind of like she really just threw that out the window and was like, I'm going in a brand new direction. I'm completely being a dance electronic artist. Um, of course, she's got Sebastian and Grosso and she's got Will I Am behind it, two like really big driving forces in the world of dance music. So that's to be expected. I'm not 100% sure that I like her going in this direction. I'm still very nostalgic and I want Pigtail Britney, Miss uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time Britney. So let me know if you guys agree with me, if you're feeling the song, if you're not feeling the song. One thing is for sure though, I definitely will be buying tickets to go see her perform in Las Vegas. So if you agree with me, let me know below in the comment section. Um, last week, you guys, I did, I talked about Miley Cyrus first, the Wrecking Ball video, and then I counted down my three favorite Britney videos. So I figured this week I'd kind of do the inverse of it. I'll keep it short. I just wanted to tell you my three favorite Miley Cyrus videos of all time. So numero tres goes to Who Owns My Heart. I think it was one of the first videos where we really got to see this spicy, sexy Miley. She's rolling around in the bed and she's got this like sexy bathroom scene where she's got like a bandana on and she looks all hot and she's clubbing and she's looked really cute. So I love that song and I love that video. My second favorite Miley video goes to Can't Be Tamed. Uh, that was definitely the first time that the gates were opened and Miley was like, I'm not a kid anymore, you guys. I'm not some Disney bubblegum girl. I am an artist. I can sing, I can dance, and I can certainly shake my hips. So um, I love that song. That video was really innovative. She's like this big black bird and she's got these cool feather wings going everywhere. And yeah, I think it was definitely a monumental moment in her career. And last but not least, I'm sure you've guessed it. My favorite, all time favorite Miley Cyrus video is Party in the USA. Um, the lyrics are just so iconic. Stepped off the plane at LAX with a dream and a cardigan. I mean, you guys, it is so symbolic of so many people here living in LA. And it was just country, it was fun, it was American, it was patriotic. It was just lovely and she looked so cute and she seemed like she was having a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I hope she's having just as much fun as she did back then because I know she's going through a bit of a rough time right now. But Miley, I adore you. I think you're a talented, talented lady working in this industry. I just got an email. And I hope you're doing okay despite everything going on with Liam. You have 
uh, my thoughts and prayers with you, and I hope you're doing okay. So you guys, this week we talked about Brittany, we talked about Miley. I wanna know your favorite three Miley videos. I wanna know if you're listening to Work Bitch and if you're gonna try to get out to see Brittany in Vegas. I know I certainly will, so hey, maybe we can all go together. Let me know what you're thinking below. Please make sure you subscribe to Clever News and have a great rest of your week. Let me know what you wanna see in more vlogs because I'm loving the feedback. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, hashtag Cleverettes, I'll see you later, bye. Now just be the champion